Hi everyone, this is the Outside World Entertainment Cooking Channel. Davey and Shaker bring you their version of cooking hot curry. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to add some salt to the hasa before I clean it. And this, what I'm doing here is actually uncarning the hasa. So here I add the salt to the hasa. And I will let the hasa sit for approximately an hour or two to carn. So here you can see that I removed the fin from the hasa. I removed the moustache. I cut the belly and I, rem I gutted it and actually I put salt in it to carn it more inside and salt is actually like the seasoning to the hasa. And I will let this sit for a couple of minutes before I clean it and start to cook. Maybe approximately 30 minutes? Yeah, 30 minutes should be fine. So here I'm ready to cook my hasa curry. As you can see, I have my hasa here. I will wash it with lime and salt. I clean the inside. The hasa is actually work corn for approximately two hours. Some people corn it overnight, but I think two hours is enough. And by cooking it, I have my ingredients here see my ingredients board I get my cooking oil I get tomatoes and let's come over this side I will use the garam masala is the chief garam masala and I have the Indi curry powder and that's a special Madras curry powder over here I have my garlic I have the onion and coconut cream or you can use coconut milk actually some people don't use coconut cream or milk they bunch it just like that i have this pepper here i call it cherry pepper because the reason why i call it cherry pepper i can't pronounce the name properly for it but let me give it a try they call it a wee 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 <laughs> i'll ask david to pronounce it for me so they're called weary weary pepper. <laughs> yeah, I, can't, I don't know for some reason I can't say that word. <laughs> yeah, I'll use some okra or okra also. I have black pepper, tomato paste, salt. I have some turmeric, some green onion, green mangoes, and drumstick. Uh, in Guyana we call it saijin. And now we are ready to cook the hasa. And Hasa is actually is a Guyanese fish and also found in Trinidad. In Trinidad they call it cascadu. And in Ameri also found in Florida and the American call it the uh, what's Armor it? Catfish. Armor catfish. Our pan is already hot and we will add the cooking oil. This is the way you check if your oil is hot by put a wooden spoon into the hot oil. And now we add the onion. And you may see I use a little bit of white onion and red onion. And the reason why I do this because I forget to buy onion today. So I have a little bit of red and white so I mix. That's okay. It's the same onion, it's the same onion. That's what, not a big deal in that part. So we'll fry up the onion for a minute and then we'll add the crushed garlic. And here we'll add a little bit of green onion, not too much in the to fry up in the hot oil with the garlic and onion. 
and now we'll add the tomatoes nice fresh red tomatoes and I know some people like the bungee, the hassa and then they put the tomatoes in. but this is our way in cooking like we like to make a curry sauce so here we add a, a little bit of salt into the tomatoes to make the curry paste Why did he add salt? And the salt will soften the tomatoes. So not everybody cooked the same. This is our version in cooking a hasa curry. So now we'll check the curry paste and oh I can smell that. Really smell good. The onion, the garlic, the green onion, and the tomato frying into the hot oil. And you can see that the tomatoes is get, getting softer. Okay. I'll give it a minute more because I want the tomatoes to be really soft, so mm -hmm. it'll make a really nice creamy curry paste. Okay, so let's take a look at the tomato and the onion and the garlic this is the stage I want it a little bit mushy so I'll give it a nice red color okay so time to add the other ingredients to make the curry paste so we're going to start with um garam masala uh, this is like two tablespoons of garam mm -hmm. masala curry powder two tablespoons of curry powder a little bit of fresh turmeric mm -hmm. a nice little stir yeah, actually you can see the color of the curry paste is getting a little darker and uh, to give it a more beautiful color I'm gonna add some paprika mm -hmm. and a little bit of tomato paste this is like uh, one tablespoon of tomato paste to give it that bright rich color So here we have the hassa. Uh, we have like about 12, it's 12 hassa. And this is the bunchy part of the hassa. Also known as cascadu in Trinidad. And I can remember when I used to live in Florida, I got a very good friend, like a family friend to us. Sunny Bai and his wife, who I always call Sister Kamala, and their son Steve. They always invite us to the house when they cook hasa, which they call kaskadu, and they cook it different. When they clean it and they cut the belly, they stuff the belly with masala, I think, and curry powder, uh, tomatoes, right? Tomato, mangoes. Tomatoes, and mangoes, and things. So they cook it different. They're like uh, pre-seasoned. Yeah. And I can remember my mom cooked hasa curry different in Diana too. Because she chunky the hasa and then later on she put the tomatoes in it. And here we'll add coconut, coconut cream. And I know a lot of people don't like coconut cream or milk, coconut milk. We cook the hasa just like that. So, but we love it with coconut cream or coconut milk. So here we cover the pot with the lid and we will lower the temperature from the stove like maybe medium let it bungee. and we let the hasa bungee in the mixture 
and we'll give it the next five minutes and we'll come back and check it. We'll give it a turn. Oh, look at this. Look at this as a bungee into the ingredients. Oh, I'm getting hungry now. What about you, Davy? You getting hungry? Mm -hmm. yeah. And now we'll add the saijian or the drumstick. Then we let the saijian bungee with the hassa. Nice hassa, fresh hassa. And this hassa actually is from Guyana, which we pick up from the West Indian store. And we'll add the pepper. <laughs> and again, I want to pronounce the name, and uh, I'll give it a try. We 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 we. <laughs> anyway, I tried. I can never pronounce this name of this person. I always get the difficulty. I always call it cherry pepper. Delicious pepper. And now we'll add some water. Let this has a cook. And actually it has a conserve with rice or roti. And we'll also add some green mangoes. Guyanese style of cooking. Most Guyanese people love to add green mango when they cook fish. And now we'll cover it and we we'll leave it to cook. And we'll come back and check it. Okay, so it's been like about five minutes since the last time we showed you. And we're back. Hmm. You know the fish is just simmering now in the coconut milk and the curry sauce with the other ingredients. And start to smell the um, drumstick. Whenever you cook um, fish or anything with drumstick, you actually can smell the drumstick. Really nice. And I don't want to turn it too much. So it would fall apart. So I'll just let it simmer in a medium heat. And there's so many different things you can add to this like some people would put some um edos and i'll be adding um some okra towards the end oh i love edos or you can even curry. you can even cook this with some zucchini or nenwa okay so it's been about total 15 to 20 minutes since the hassa has been cooking the whole process and now we'll take a look Alright, so looks like it's getting there. Might need a total of about five more minutes at this time. I'll be adding some of this beautiful okra to just steam. Okay, so it's been about three more minutes since I add the okra. I come back and take a look. And this is the final stage. You can see the hassa has been cooked. I'm gonna cook it more, it's gonna start to fall apart. The way I know it's like you can look at the head, they're starting to look like they're gonna. Like the shell's gonna come out, so that means it's done. And my okra is perfect, I don't want it overcook. And I had forgot to put the um, black pepper, so now I'm adding my black pepper. I think you can add black pepper anything. Yeah, and then I'll add some of the green onion to complete this dish. 
And here we have Hasa curry. With saijin, okra, mango, weary weary pepper. And this is our way in cooking a Hasa curry. With some coconut milk. With coconut milk. You can even, we use, we actually use coconut cream. You can use coconut milk too. So here I cook my hasa curry. Finish cooking, I have my hasa here. Guyana hasa, piece of mango, okra, two pieces of okra, two pieces of saijin, and a hot spicy pepper. And now, my Corona, I'll have a beer. Cheers. Uh, here, remove the scale from the Hasa. This is Shaker and Davy Cooking Channel. If you like our show, please give us that thumbs up, subscribe to us, share our video, and we'll see you on our next cooking show. Thank you very much, and you all have a nice day. Bye.